In this video, we'll learn about creating your course structure for an online course. When designing an online course, your course structure should be intuitive, consistent, and efficient. We'll review the options you have for setting up your course in Blackboard so that it meets all of these requirements. One intuitive feature of your course that we've already built into it is the Start Here section. The name of that section makes it intuitive for most students to know where to click on the first day of your course. Blackboard is fairly flexible in your options for organizing your course. For example, you could organize your course so that it's similar to the DQOC with learning modules on the main menu and within that, folders that are labeled with the dates. Or you could choose to group lessons into learning units because they cover similar topics. In this example, you see folders of units about broad topics and then within those, smaller segments of sessions about specific activities for each session. And each session spans one week. Another option is to have all the weeks out on the main menu and then when you click on each week, you see the individual components for that week. Notice that on both of these structures, each session is clearly labeled with the dates. This can help to make navigating your course more intuitive for students. Students may not think in terms of what week they're working on, but in a course, they're well aware of the dates. Consider efficiency when you're organizing your course. An efficient course keeps to a minimum the number of clicks students need to access materials and assignments. Students shouldn't have to click more than three or four times to get to your course content. You can also improve efficiency by reducing the clutter in your course. You can make your course structure consistent by organizing your content in the same way each week. With a consistent structure, students know where to find the instructional materials they need each week. This can reduce the number of questions you get each week from students who can't find materials. No matter what approach you take to organizing your course, be sure to test it out by looking at the Student View. The Student View button is a new feature that's been added to Blackboard. Click on Go to Student View and you're turned into the Student Demo User and you can see exactly what students will see. You can then click on Return to Teacher View to return to the instructor's view of the course. In this video, we've reviewed some of your options for structuring your online course.